Welcome back to the Jank Factory, everyone. This is Logrith, and today we are playing Kiora Hydroblast. Whenever Hydra's growth was spoiled, I got excited about it, so I built the deck around it finally. Three Nessian Horn Beetle, two Satessan Training, two Simic Ascendancy, four Hydra's growth, four Kiora Behemoth Beckoner, four Uro, two Nightpack Ambusher, one Nelia, three Questing Beast, two Shifting Ceratops, one God Eternal Ronus. 1 Great Hinge, 3 Stone Coil Serpents, 3 Voracious Hydras, and 4 Hydroid Creases. I wanted to fit Renata into this deck, but that would just be more than I could fit, I guess. 2 Vantras, 3 Islands, 2 Garen Briggs, 7 Forests, 4 Breeding Pools, 4 Temples of Mystery, and 4 Fabled Passages. So let's move into the Ranked Ladder and see how Hydroblast does. I'm hoping for better luck. I have not, I've not had very m many good matches recently on Arena. It's just the same mono red or blue white control constantly, and it's kind of aggravating. I miss the days when we didn't have formats figured out so quickly. This is actually pretty solid. We'll fabled passage for a forest first. That pretty Mirage Forest. I love it. Pass turn. Begin Sijimi with the Jaya Avatar. Temple of Milady. Malady. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a two drop here. If we attack, do they block? They don't. So then we'll Kiora. And untap the stone. Oh, we can't untap the stone coil serpent with Kiora. That's right. <sighs> Protect from multicolored. <laughs> oh, I thought I was being clever. Alright. That's fine. We will... Temple of Mystery, and get the scry. Rose good. Let's untap the Temple of Mystery and drop the Questing Beast. That seems decent so far. Okay. I'm not going to complain about that. Hmm. We'll drop Vantress. We'll play Uro, get double draw. Play the forest. Untap island and play shifting ceratops, I guess. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Is he gonna kill the Ceratops? Yep. So this is an interesting deck build. I kinda like it. Alright. So if we drop the forest. Let's drop our night pack ambusher. And I'll put Hydra's Growth on it. So 
So test and training will be really good right now. A goose. And a Kaya. This is a very interesting control build they've got going on here. Huh. I'm going to exile my Uro before I can use him. In my beast. Okay. Minus three to do that. We'll make our wolf. We'll use Vantress to scry. Paradise Druid, okay. Enclave Tribunal, not okay. Stone coil. This demands a board wipe. Both of those creatures demand a board wipe. Worst case scenario, that Conclave Tribunal hits the stone coil, and that makes me sad. think I need cure anymore so you're more than welcome to kill her this is gonna be a long game by the way everybody I can already tell yep you did the thing Oh, 
not having trample here is the aggravating part. And having that Conclave Tribunal just perfectly in the zone was not good either. So it's Tulsimir Control. Interesting. If I can just get that Satess in training. Okay. Case scenario, I'll take nine damage on this guy and still survive. I gotta have him fight. It hasn't trained me there. There's all that trigger because I have no choice but to. No trample. Ugh. Maybe I need to go back and put it in the other two Satess and trainings, because that getting that trample on these creatures is so darn important. But we're forcing him to win. Does it go full on sideways here? That's the question. Take action. Yeah, I need to add the other two trainings in. Yeah, you go sideways. That's game. All right, let's add in the tools that have some training and like cut out something else.
There's no way to get past stalled board states like that without trample. Those two. And add another stone coil. That might work out a little bit better. So now we have four Satessin training and four Hydra's growth. Ideally, I like stone coil, turn one or two, and then Hydra's growth it, turn three. It's not going to be easy to pull off, but it'll be a lot of fun to pull off, that's for sure. Alright, we'll keep. Temple of Mistra. Night pack. It's not terrible. <clears throat> Past turn. There's another blue. Alright, we will attempt to live the dream. Let's grab an island so that Castle Vantress comes in on top next turn. And Stone Cold Serpent X is one. Birth, okay. Well, we'll just get in for that one damage right now. I don't know, maybe he just chooses not to block. <clears throat> no. Okay. So there's black man involved too, eh? Attempt to the night pack ambusher. That's weird. Okay. Attacker block and activated abilities can't be activated. This is a different kind of deck. I very seldom see Law Mages binding. Cuneros, okay.
So much land. Past turn. Okay. Elspeth, son's nemesis. Nice to see you. Okay, let's stack all of our card draw before the Uro trigger. More land, a questing beast, and another Uro. Let's try it again. More land. Hydrocrasis and another questing beast. Let's drop this island. And we'll play this fine gentleman right here. It says good game. I'm not sure what he means by good game on that. It's not lost yet. Even if he border whites me, it's not lost. Sure. Narset's nothing. Thought erasure. Okay. Making your two little soldier dudes. He's not got trample, so I can give him trample. That's cute. I don't really care about that part. Eat up the Narset. So much card draw. Oh my god. This deck. This deck, ugh, okay. Um, I'm not concerned about life, so let's just do that. Uh, and we'll end the turn here. I have to discard a card. Let's discard the passage. <laughs> this deck. If he thought erasures me and sees my hand, he might cry. YouTube. I love this deck. <laughs> uh, what a deck, what a deck. Alright. Elspeth conquers death. You're gonna get Uro, Questing Beast. Questing Beast. Sure. Pass. 
Oh, let's scry. We have the mana to do it. Let's Hydra's Growth, the Stone Coil Serpent. Let's Questing Beast again. Let's untap one of these forests. And we'll do Racial's Hydra X5. Let's have him fight the wall. Get in there. And turn. Discard a card. Let's discard Cure. Oh, you didn't let me win with the Simic Ascendancy trigger? You make me sad. So, if he had let me get through that, I could have stacked so that first the Hydra's counters would have doubled, or the Stone Cold Serpent's counters would have doubled, and then Simic Ascendancy would have checked for the victory condition. But we didn't get that opportunity that time. But that's fine. Alright, let's... Try one more game with Kiora Hydroblast. Blastudo. We're playing the Hydroblast deck against Blastudo. This is slow but strong. Keep Temple Mystery Hydra on top is good. So we will Fable Passage, crack it, and I think I just want to get a forest. Good old Mirage Forest. Let's see what Blastudo is up to here. Lockthwain Gargoyle. Okay. Enters tapped. Pass turn. Ginger Brute. Is this guy? Oh. He's trying to play like all the cheap artifacts and all the glitters. Okay. Um, Kiora is most likely dead if I play Kiora. We'll play Vracious Hydra and just double up the counters. It's the only thing I can think of. Now does he have a hack toast to drop down and make my life miserable? Or some sort of removal for the Hydra? taking him a long time to make up his mind that's for sure I don't think uh, there's a possibility that we can win this one guys I don't think so Embercleave he found a way to play Embercleave in this kind of deck I give up 
Ember Cleave is everywhere, and it's so aggravating. Like, I wish we had Oko back. I mean, it... o Oko was at least somewhat of an answer to Ember Cleave. Okay, this is, this is the dream hand. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull it off. Keep. If it's not aggro, it sort of is aggro. Okay, well, that's okay. We'll go ahead and do this. Auto pay. Just on the off chance he's red black and plays a dreadhorde butcher. Red black white. So it's the night deck. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work out too well in my favor. No blocks. The night deck is like the subpar aggro deck, but you still see it on here occasionally. Okay, we'll just pass the turn here. There's a Stormfist Crusader. It's definitely the night deck. Alright. I think it's best if we just go ahead and do this to gain three life and ramp the land. Scry. Nylia will not help me here. If we're lucky. Yeah. Okay, sure. I can't block the Stormfist Crusader, unfortunately. No blocks. Taking five. Going to six. Do you have Ember Cleave? Oh, you can't do Ember Cleave. You need two red. I'm Rock Knight. Okay. Going to four. So, Castle Garenbrig. Six mana. So, create a Racious Hydra where X is four. And we have it fight Knight of the Ebon Legion. No attacks. We'll at least gain some life off a hinge if we survive. If you guys know those smitten swordmaster, we're dead anyway. If you guys removal for Hydra, we're dead anyway. Make him a 2-2. Two, two. No ducks. I think we're... Yeah, we're dead anyway, unfortunately. That sucks. 
The Crassus would have been a much better card to have in hand for that moment. Crassus X1 would have at least given me another body. Okay, he just wanted to kill me with Sword, sword Master. Good job, Dr. Dan. Alright, let's try one more game with this deck tonight and see how we can finish the night off. If we could have a game like that, one game, more often, that'd be nice. But even with uh, kind of like my expected like best opener with that deck against the night deck, it just there's too many creatures coming out and they just go too wide. Really? No, we're not playing you again. It's not happening. We already played you once, we beat you, and it's just not worth it to play you again. Kinsecker. Uh huh. If it's aggro, I'm dead. Let's hope it's not aggro. It's most likely aggro, because this is arena. And I hate aggro, but it is a necessary evil, I guess. Okay, so probably team or adventures instead. We're probably going to fall flat on our face against them, too. At least the Ceratops won't be able to get bounced with the Brazen Borrower, so that's good. Azorius, or Bant, with a Lovestruck Beast Mode. There you go. Passing the turn. Next turn, we can Ceratops and give it... So, Bant Adventures? Actually, more land isn't terrible with Kiora out. I think instead we just go shifting Ceratops. Can't be bounced with Borrower. It can't be killed with Giant Killer. Play this down. Fable Passage is just a free land. We'll play him again. Last turn. You had a second one. Of course you did. Six mana. Fatal Passage. Grab an island. Go for X5.
And we'll fight the giant killer. In turn. And we'll fight the giant killer again after they play this giant killer. If he does, tapping my creature does not make me happy, Ken Secker. Okay, there's another guide, Mother. Marching for four. Okay. Sure. Six, seven, eight. Not quite enough. I don't know. We can. So if we do Castle Garenbrig. Draw a card. Untap. Pretty much anything. Got Eternal Ronus. Get in for 18. That guy has Trample. Ken Secker, we win! <laughs> Yeah, they should have killed Kiora faster. Oh well. That is it for this one. For sure. This time, I'm, I'm definitely done for the night. I gotta be up for work tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Kiora Hydroblast. I do like this deck a lot. It is fun. Four Satassin Training, two Simic Ascendancy, four Hydra's Growth, four Kiora, four Oro, two Night Parrot Ambushers, one Nylia, three Questing Beasts, two Shedding Ceratops, one God of Troll Ronus, one Hinge, two or four Stone Coil Serpents, three Voracious Hydras, and four Hydra Crasis. With two Vantresses, two Garen Briggs, three Islands, seven Forests, four Pools, four Mysteries, and four Fabled Passages. Like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, make that thumbs up blue and subscribe white and the bell have the little belly things next to it the ringy ringy noises well this has been a fun evening of magic playing i think but we did not have the best of luck with some of our builds and i don't think it's anything inherently wrong with the decks i don't but that's my own opinion. This is Zogwith from the Jink Factory, signing off. Happy magicking.